Um, I'll get everything set up for you. Great, thanks. No, there's no clicker. Did you have the clicker? Yeah. Can somebody pass that out, please? I'm just going to check the one slide first. Okay. All right. Just give me a second when I get this timer going. Oh, okay. Don't move the laptop. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> uh, awesome. That'll work. Who made the food? Do you know what the restaurant? Yeah, that was good. Thanks. <laughs> it was good food. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're ready when you are, gentlemen. All right, thank you. All right, good afternoon, everybody. We are Smart Trek, and today we are talking about traffic. Now we all know traffic. We've all been through that. We all know how it is. And have you ever felt like this guy, <laughs> where you feel hopeless, you feel struggled, and you feel like you have no solution, and you're basically stuck? Well. When we look, you know, you're not the only one. In 2005, there was a study done by ABC Time News Poll where they asked commuters on the, on the average, what, what are some ways that you uh, avoid trying to avoid traffic? The top two answers were, I'm going to change my route or I'm going to change the time that I, that I travel. Research also shows that if you, just even a fraction of commuters decide to change their route or change their time of departure, they actually uh, benefit by having uh, improved travel times. Now, current existing solutions tell us you have GPS units like TomTom. Tom. You have people that put out road signs that say, take another route. Um, all those just gives you information. There's also those things where you, know, you have some sort of uh, trying to change demand, trying to change the traffic. And those things like that, like toll roads. But that's a penalty. People pay, and you don't want to pay. What we've come up with is an incentive type of deal where uh, it is called what we call Smart Trek. It's a fun, rewarding, empowering mobile application device that helps manage traffic, uh, traffic management in a fun way. Okay, so a little bit about uh, the four of us. We are a team of four people. Uh, we have a very strong and diverse background. So uh, we have Dr. Yi Chang Xu. He's an associate professor at the U of A. Uh, he's working with Eric Nava here, who is a research engineer. Uh, myself, I'm a DT. I'm a graduate student at the MIS department at our. I'm the developer for this whole project. And we have Jenda Chan here, who's the director of product management of Acer America. And he's been helping us with the operational stuff of SmartTrack. So how does SmartTrack work? It's basically three simple steps. The first part is the reserve part. You basically set up all the, the origin, the destination where you want to go from, and all the time. And then what Smart Track will give you is that it will give you three different alternative routes that you can choose from. Each route has a different discount. So you, ch you make that reservation that you want to take that. And then we move on to the next step, which is the validation part. So basically, you just hop into your car and then start traveling based on the route that you have chosen before. And then once you've reached the destination, our app will, will do a validation to our backend server. And then we'll validate um, your transaction, which is the next step. And we're going to give a coupon, something like this, like 15% uh, off Lexus. We'll, we'll send this coupon to your email, or it might be a QR discount coupon code pushed directly to your mobile application. And so this can be redeemed to at a local merchant or vendor that we partner with. Traffic costs time and money, and also frustration to you. Uh, our fun, rewarding, empowering business model uh, can provide a value proposition in three categories. First, for the consumer, the traveler, we can provide the best travel time with the best optimized route together with the discounted coupon they need. For vendors and the local business, they can get the incremental revenue from the more traffic. And most important, for citywide everyone here, we can all get benefit with a better traffic, therefore with less emission and better air quality and also the life. Now let's talk about how we make money. Okay, we have two primary revenue streams. One is from the 
percentage of the markup of the recruitment the transaction. The second is from commercial advertisement. So on the spot, small track, every time the user click on it, we get a revenue. In this coming winter, we actually start to have our long partnership uh, with the uh, corridor area that has been suffering the congested travel of uh, the tourists. Uh, we believe that we can double our small this winter. We have a functional prototype, and here's the demo. All right, so you can see here the main page of the application. Um, basically, I've set a origin, destination, and the date that I want to travel on. So the video working? I don't think the video is working. Just go. Just talk about it. There you go. All right, so I've set out the origin, and I, s I can select the available time slots that I can travel on here. So let's say I want to travel on um, 16, that time slot, and the backend engine will, will calculate the best route for you with a great discount that we can offer. So let's say I choose this route. Um, this route will give you this discount. Um, if we select a different route, um, you'll get a different discount associated with that. So if you agree on this discount, you just hit on reserve, and you can see the reservation here. It's one minute and seven, seven minutes before the reservation time. And this is the validation part that um, we're, we're on a car right now. Um, we're, we're going through the route that we've selected before. Um, yeah, and we're just heading towards the destination. And right there, we show that we, the validation was successful. So, um, and what we're gonna do next is we'll send an email as a, a coupon to you, to your email, like Jamba Juice here, for example. So that's how the whole system works. We're going to open this up to two to three minutes Q&A. Any questions? Starting with so. Is that uh, stuck on something there? No, that's, that's it. That's as far as it goes. Another one will. Another word. <laughs> so, uh, are we... Uh, it's only from the judges, sorry. So my first question is the discount. You choose a discount level. That's not an estimated travel time reduction. That's a discount level, which leads you to a different coupon. Wouldn't, wouldn't the consumer want to know uh, what the travel time implications would be of the different routes? How do you handle that? So we do, essentially, we have two, two, uh, two approaches to this, is that for the person who wants a, a good travel time, they will pick their, their best departure, and they say, OK, well, that's the best coupon that I can get, or they can do the approach of, here's my coupon, the bargainer, I want a good coupon, and whatever my whatever my time I choose, or whatever time comes with that coupon, I'll stick with that. So we have two different avenues that, that the development has been taking. Does that answer your question? So in general, are the deeper discount coupons associated with longer travel times? The deeper coupons are related to the, tra the times that we're trying to spread the traffic out, to manage traffic. So if we want people to depart a much earlier departure time so that everyone leaving home to work at 5 p.m., we don't want everyone to leave work at 5 p.m. We want people to travel at 4 p.m. so that the bottleneck is not at 5 p.m. Okay, so, so the information you're getting, is, is Mike on? Go ahead. Yeah. So the, the information you're getting uh, about the traffic. It's on. It's on. Yeah. Uh, are you gathering that information to figure out how many people are going at five o'clock so you can do the load balancing yourself, or are you getting the traffic information from some other source? We're getting real-time traffic data as well as historical data to do our data mining and optimal traffic routes. Where, where do you get that information? We're already partnering with Indrix. Indrix is a huge data provider in the United States, so we can get some And they have real-time traffic information. They have real-time traffic data as well as the, uh, historical data that will provide for us up to a year. Do you need money? If so, how much? And what's the ROI and how? Um, 
Yes, we do, we do need funding to continue this program. Uh, like I just mentioned, in this coming winter, we will have our first pilot program uh, that we uh, have already confirmed with the agency to start the program in the uh, resort and the tourist area. Uh, for the next one year, for the startup cost and the uh, operating uh, expense, we will need to um, internally review the uh, how many city for the first year to first five year we would like to expand. Uh, from initially, from our early assumption, we probably will uh, come up with an initial funding about half, half million. Great. That's, uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you.